The arrest of John DeLorean, he's charged with drug offences. DeLorean is due in court within the hour. The former head of the DeLorean car firm faces drug conspiracy charges. And if he's found guilty, he could go to prison for up to 15 years. I was very surprised. There's a lot of individuals who commit crimes for the first time. There's always somebody who goes out and robs a bank. It's the first bank he robs. Early this morning, DeLorean's wife, model Christina Ferrara, flew in from New York to be with her husband, but had little to say to reporters. I just found out a few hours ago. I know nothing. I caught a plane. I'm here. I'm here to be with my husband. There's nothing I can say to you because I know nothing. DeLorean had been in secret negotiations with supposed bankers to raise the millions his company needed. While putting the deal together in a Los Angeles hotel room, he had been enticed by the prospect of making even more cash by trafficking cocaine. He had been dealing with undercover agents all along, and they had it all on tape. It was a classic FBI sting. If found guilty, he would go to jail for 15 years. And I must admit, I was in bad shape at that time. I'd been struggling everywhere, trying to find money to keep my company alive. There was no crime committed. I never gave him any money. I never took any money. I had nothing to do with it. I was just a man who was a victim of uh, being stuck in the middle of this whole false scenario. Everybody looked at it, believed that they had a significant criminal problem. Keep the workers from work. Keep the DeLorean car going. I thought that was his last resort. The DeLorean drug celebrity trial soon became a media frenzy. In the full glare of publicity, John DeLorean was forced to answer some harsh questions. On the 16th of August, 1984, a Los Angeles jury found John Zachary DeLorean not guilty of all eight drug charges. They ruled out as inadmissible the apparently damning evidence of the videotapes, believing instead that DeLorean had been set up by the FBI. And I'm not saying that happened here, but at the same time, it's, uh, it might have been a factor. A life uh, as a hard-working industrialist has been tattered and torn. I, I don't know, would you buy a used car from me? <laughs> <laughs> the inherent about this thing that just says future. I mean, even I, I feel it even does today. I mean, this does not look like it's dated. You know, it's still, uh, if you saw one out on the road today, you'd still say, holy, look at that.